In the US, not many support small businesses. Instead, they head to the shiny new chain restaurants. The little guys are left in the dust, but that's not the case in Thailand. Here, it's a whole different ballgame. People here, young and old, actually seek out local food shops. And why wouldn't they? The food there is magical. Generational effort has gone into making the recipes. But it's more than just what's in the bowl. It's a cultural thing, a way to connect to the community. And community is still big here. Today I'm going to show you some of the oldest food shops in Vietnam. <laughs> Okay, I'm in Chinatown and today I'm going to be showing you some of the oldest, oldest shops in Bangkok. And we're starting out with this one. And you can see there's already a line of people trying to get the legendary fish. These people? These people started selling on the streets of Bangkok. And then eventually they got so good, their reputation got so good, everybody bought from them so they opened up the store. And they've been operating the store for over 80 years. I'm going to show you, it's a very special dish. It's so good. She just keeps pouring one after another and, and then the guy comes in with a pre-cooked pre pot, huge pot. It's amazing, look at the pot. Hello, can I get one here? 60 baht or 70? Uh, 70. Sure, thank you. Check this place out, it's very charming. A lot of character. Kabaha, thank you. Okay, the place is busy. I got one before it sold out. And man, check it out. It looks amazing. Check out the... Slippery bra. Wow. And the star of the show here is, you won't believe this, but this is fish bladder. Wow. This is originally a Chinese recipe, but they, these are Chinese Thai, and they have their own recipe. They mixed it up a little bit. You can see it's got quail eggs, blood, chicken, and of course the star of the show, the unbelievable fish bladder. It looks super flavorful. Try this. Oh, that's yummy. The broth is rich, thick, very rich. The broth is so thick and rich, perfect for a merciful drowning of our criminals. For at least we show them mercy by providing them one last taste of heaven. Yummy, very yummy chicken, chicken flavored broth. But of course, the star of the show is going to be this. Fish bladder. Let's try this. Maybe this is it. Mm. Oh my god, that's weird. Super weird texture. But so much flavor. It's like way stronger than the actual broth. It's kind of like eating SpongeBob. The fish maw has a soft, slightly chewy texture. And after that first bite, it hits you. Bam! It's as if it soaked up every last whisper of flavor from the pot, concentrating it into a flavor blast, like a final flash from the Prince of All Saiyans himself. Unexpectedly powerful. Final flash! Oh shit! I never had anything like this. Oh yeah, it's definitely yummy, but. Man, does it feel weird in your mouth? That's what she said! <laughs> You'll never find something like this in the States, that's for sure. Even if you go to Chinatown in New York, probably you won't find this. Mm. Dang, bro. It's not much foreigner that eats it. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought this place was like famous. We are famous in Thailand. Oh, I see. Oh, it's not. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> this, is, this is delicious, though. So casual to you in that dish. Thank you. You guys have been open for 80 years, right? 80 years. 80 years, wow. Since my grandfather. Wow. In the picture. Oh, that's, that's his picture? Yeah. 
อินฟิกเจอร์อินเออในเดอะพาร์ทที่อินเซวินไชน่าทาวน์ I was reading about this place, and I heard like your great grandfather or your grandfather was first selling on the streets, mm -hmm. right? Yes, and then yes. they, you guys wow. opened up this place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So I thought it's a must to come here while I'm in Bangkok. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Highly recommend it. He said not enough foreigners come, and it's a must experience. Thank you so much. Thank you. Delicious stuff. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. Couple of Okay, I think I think the next one is this one. Okay, this is a dessert shop, and it looks like it's busy. But this is the one. This is check it out. It's like a hole in a wall. This has been open for over 102 years old, and of course we all know steam buns over here. I can make all kinds of jokes about buns. But steam buns are a tradition in China, and very few do it their way now. Everybody's doing it like factory way. Here, they still do it handmade, handmade style. So they have handmade style all over there. You know, I'm bothering the lady, but she has to make some sacrifices for my film. <laughs> so they have. You speak English? No. Check it out. The menu here is magnificent. They got the roasted buns, which I'm. This is what I'm here for. They got o k a pork, salted. Hello. Hello. Can I ask you some questions? Has this shop been open for over 100 years? Oh no no. I mean the recipe is over 100 years. 100 years? But How long shop, has the shop uh, been open? About five years. Five years. Yeah. Ah, so the recipe is 100. Yeah. 100 years old. Okay. Yeah. This recipe uses all hands, right? Yeah, it's all handmade. And and the other ones that are sold in 7-Eleven, they're machine made, right? Yep. I would say like I mean the recipe is from Chow Chow. Ah. Yeah, originally from uh, China. I got the roasted, bun. roasted bun, yep. uh, pork bun, and sesame. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Really spicy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. Bye bye. Have a good day. Okay, check it out. I don't know which one. Which he gave me free Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai. It's not Chiang Mai. That's a city. Chiang Mai. For free, kind man. But well, let's try what I came here for: the buns. Now I can make all kinds of jokes about buns. Me liking big buns, small and small buns. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna make you guys cringe. It's roasted buns, over a hundred year old recipe. You can actually tell how different it is from the ones sold in 7-Eleven. It's not fluffy. It's more firm. It's like a nice firm bun. My mind is going to dirty places. Let's try it. The steam buns are golden yellow, dense and smooth like a polished stone. Mm. 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 So juicy, juicy as AF. Mm. The roasted one is so different than a regular steam buns. Delicious stuff. You really can't compare it to the regular one. It's got like a crispiness on the outside. It's still soft and mushy on the inner side. Then you got the juicy, juicy, tasty meat. These are Chinese style buns. And while this guy doesn't look like a Chinese grandma, according to the people on the internet, his work says otherwise. He's a Chinese grandma because he's making buns that are not just tasty but also nostalgic to the Chinese, with the kind of flavor that might even bring a tear of joy to Xi Jinping's eyes if he had a moment alone with these buns. Let's see what the next one. Is. I forgot what I ordered. I think this is the black bean one, and then the third one. Mm. Oh yeah, this 
one is creamy sesame. Wow, this one's so good. Sweet, creamy sesame inside. Delicious stuff. I can tell you this is a whole different animal than a regular bun because this has the crispiness factor. Pork and this sesame is the best. The black one I didn't like that much. part of Chinatown. Looks interesting. Very beautiful. Busy. Vibrant. I'm on my way to one of the oldest, if not the oldest place, Roasted Duck in, in Bangkok. Let's go. I'm excited to check it out. Okay. Oh, this is the place. Krat Cha. It definitely looks old. Upstairs? Okay, can I film a little bit? Yeah, okay. Thank you. This dude had Daffy Duck and his friends hanging out the window for people to see, showcasing their beautiful bodies while slaughtering them. Amazing. Oh, he's fast. Putting out pork. No. And all the leftovers, the chips and uh, duck bones, stuff like that, anyway. They have. Which one is better, the rice or or this is with rice? Okay, I'll take one rice. Okay, check it out. I ordered the duck with rice. There's also a duck with noodle, and the duck it looks it's shiny, it's glistening. It looks amazing. I've had many amazing roasted duck, roasted daffy duck as I like to say, and at the mall. It's always amazing. I'm curious if this one that's over 100 years is gonna beat it. And I also got the bun, which uh, I'm curious if, if it beats the other bun that I had yesterday. The big piece with the rice. This is exciting. Oh, wow. The sauce doesn't rely too much on sugar. I think the ones in the mall in, in Thailand they rely more heavily on sugar. This one, this one's flavorful. Mm. It melts in your mouth. It like falls apart. It's so tender, juicy. Very different than the ones in the mall. Higher quality duck for sure. This place is no ordinary duck joint. No, Prachak is legendary in Bangkok. When Thai people mention roasted duck. This place is what comes to mind. It's more than just a place to get food in Bangkok. It's tradition. Tradition passed down and perfected. Generation after generation, serving up the best duck in town. But their steamed buns suck. Mm. It's okay. Roasted duck definitely their spank here. I think it's definitely a must to try. But if you come, you might wanna, hello. You might wanna stay on the first floor because it's just a different vibe. You got you got friends and you got the all the sound effects from the people working, the 